I thought he died there. I'm not sure. So, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think it's quite here. Glanced off his armor again. Bastard. Alright, let's zoom right into your face. I think we're good. I like the angle. Like, if you're running up an angle, Hale's, um, because you don't have legs. You know, which only a very small select um, few games gave you an actual body back in the day. Pretty sure uh, Halo 2... Yeah, because the first Halo you didn't, but Halo 2 you had legs. I think you had legs in fear as well, didn't you? I'm trying to remember now. Um, possibly Doom um, 3. I can't remember. But yeah, I like the way um, as you're moving up, he's taking shorter but quicker steps. He's kind of running up. Uh, it's a little detail, but it's really... Ooh, hi. Yeah, a little detail, but really cool. And you guys know me. I'm an absolute sucker for the little details. Okay. You know, these guys and their augers... They really like them, don't they? I bet they breastfeed those things. Right. Get out of here. Not going to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it, you matey. Sit down and fuck off. That doesn't even make sense that sit down and fuck off. More like stand up and fuck off. That makes more sense. Very undignified position to die in, sir. Ah, yes. This is the bit I was thinking of. Checkpoint reached. That was bad. Right, okay. We're on it. We're on it. Or something. Oh, we got him. We got him. <laughs> How do you like those apples, huh? Now, I'm pretty sure there's two angels here. Yeah, there's two. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Luckily, although there are these advanced dudes, they are spread out. And once you kill them, they're gone. They don't respawn. They don't get a second wave or anything like that. I don't think, anyway. Now, the one thing that's annoying with the angels' weapons is they fire these spines that gas the area, as you can probably see. And that gas does linger for a little while. Now, after a while, they get a little bit annoyed. And you might see it. Okay, that shouldn't actually be attached to anything. But it is. Wait, so does... One entire volley from this gun. Kill an angel. That's good to know. 
That's very good to know. That would illustrate it actually being quite strong. I thought there was more Lark ammo. Holding out on me, game. Hey, boys. I ain't seen anyone else, guys. Yeah. You are with me, and I can only apologize for that. Sorry, guys. See all this ammo and stuff? It's just, it's everywhere. Uh, I do wish we could carry just a little bit more ammo. Just a little bit more. Just, just, just a little bit. But then saying that, I suppose, you know, if you could carry, say, 20 shots with this... Or 20 spare shots. Oof, that would be gnarly. You know that dude? Uh, okay. The other one hasn't swallowed his own tongue, has he? No, he's still there. It does amaze me that these guys are actually alive and, you know, sentient sometimes. Oh yeah, I forgot about you guys. Oh. I think we are approaching the final boss. Or the final ending, I should say. The final ending? Yeah, because there's multiple endings, guys. Uh, no. No, there isn't. At least, I don't think there is. With a new game plus kind of dealio, I'm kind of not sure. But I've never heard of a second ending to this game, so I'm going to say no. Right, this was kind of awkward when I was playing this last night. Because I went up this little uh, elevator here and I left one of the dudes behind. Probably the best thing that could have happened to him, to be honest. Well, I don't know, actually. Alright, fellas, you feeling good? You rating our chances? Yeah, I'm rating our chances. Oh, no, 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 sorry, I don't want to give you false hope. I'm not rating your chances. I'm rating our chances as a whole. Oh, he's jibbing out. These guys made it really quite far into the tower, didn't they? Time for a cup of tea. So here we have the main reactor. Definitely some form of reactor. 100%. Yep, we've got to find a way to survive first, guys. Seriously, priorities and all that. <laughs> yeah, this bit is kind of rough. It's not... It's not too bad. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a little bit... A little bit iffy. Damn, come on, fire. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You've got me covered, have you? Are you sure? Covered in what? Lead? Okay. Well, one of our boys survived, so good, I guess. Oh, God. Well, you're covering two things now, and one of them's Jack. Oh, 
How did that miss? Thank you. Now that dude wasn't very smart. If he'd kept pushing, might have survived. Yeah, so our soldiers are very ineffective. Ooh, and that's putting it lightly. Putting it very lightly. Ugh. Oh, my baby, this rifle. I'm taking you home, and I'm marrying you once this is all over. Got to get one of the best things in this game. you got to get used to that crouch. Crouching underneath shots. Doesn't always work, but... Oof. But when it does... Oh, hello. You know... Not really in the mood to play with you. I got one of them too, sir. And as much as I'd like to claim mine's bigger than yours, I don't think it is. Hmm. Being a little git, aren't you? Yeah, we can't survive a shot from that. Oof. Okay. Ugh, okay. Need more lark ammo. Definitely want the lark ammo. Alright, cool. Could use some more ammo for this, actually. There we go. That's more like it. So close to that health now. I can taste it. Gimme, 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 gimme. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, good. Lovely. Wonderful. Fantastic. Brilliant, even. Amazing, some might say. Now, wouldn't this be cool if I had some men? It's a band of brothers to call my own. Some boys to hold back the hordes. Oh, good, good, good. Just chip away at them slowly. That's right, Hale. Nothing to it, old bean. Whilst we go back to get some rifle ammo, I'm going to drink some tea. I was just about to say, it seems like we have unlimited sniper ammo there, but, well, as soon as I thought it, I thought it out of existence. Right, so we've just got a couple of steel heads up here. Steely boys. I would appreciate if Windows would stop popping shit up all the time. Not that you can see that, because that's on my display window, but... Oof. I could have gone smoother. Definitely could have gone smoother. Wasn't that like... Ah, yeah. Oh, health. Wonderful health. We like health in these parts. Okay. What's next? Lovely. Right. Let's start. The shields are coming down. Yep, here we go. This is the beginning of the end for the Chimeran the bastards. Hell. I will. I promise. Now, who's saying that, you might ask? Well... Shoot the uh, we get an influx of soldiers here that turn up to help us. Which is nice. Now, I'm not sure how the enemies work here. I don't know if there's unlimited waves of them. 
Ooh. No scoped in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right, so... Ah! Now we've got a flying turd to deal with. I do, but first, I'm going to shoot this guy. Sorry for any major inconveniences caused. Okay. We're not going to be wasting that. Let's do it. Keep, shooting. Keep shooting! Now, there's two angels here, and we've just defeated one. But to be honest, the angels aren't really the scary thing. Great. Yeah, you fall back. I'm gonna try not to die. How does that sound? Another paddle, boys! Another paddle, boys! Where are the dudes? Where are the dudes? Come on. Come on. Here they come. Right. Here they come. Come to daddy. Let's do this. Just you and me. Damn it. Come on. Oh, nice. Happy with that. Oof. Come on. Here they come. I can see them. If we can see them, we can kill them. Okay. Okay, I think that's all of them. Now, any more fire eye ammo? Really? No more fire eye ammo? Another angel. Oh god, that's fine. Come over here, you overgrind, overgrind, overgrown nutsack. Come on. Come and play over here. Hiding over there like a bitch. Right, you're done. Good. Come on, just a little bit more. And that's that. And that is that. Ooh, got an achievement. Breaking the law. I don't know what that's about. As the tower fell, Khmeran creatures began to shriek and writhe on the ground. They died within minutes. We believe they were simply unable to survive the loss of the angels. The significance of our victory in London wasn't understood for several days. 
The reactor meltdown caused a chain reaction that destroyed all the towers in the network. At least in Britain, the Chimera were defeated. We have investigated the ruins of five towers so far. As we attempt to reverse engineer the complex technologies we find, the mystery of the Chimera only deepens. With combat subsided, the soldiers have been searching the rural villages for survivors. So far, we found 921 hiding in bunkers and basements, 78 of them children. Cartwright's youngest daughter, Angela, was among them. As for Nathan Hale, his body was never recovered. He was presumably incinerated inside the tower. The American military lists him as killed in action, July the 14th, 1951. A part of me still believes he might have escaped somehow. I even thought I heard his voice on the radio just after the tower exploded. I'll never know for sure. Hmm. Yeah, an interesting ending, for sure. There we go. Interesting stuff. So, I mean, personally, personally, I think that game holds up fairly well. It's got a lot of crust on it. Um, it's definitely aged. That's, I think, perfectly fair to say. The gameplay itself isn't bad. It's, you know, perfectly serviceable. It's nothing special. Um, the audio was kind of a mixed bag as well. Was, there's some very stock sounding um, effects. Uh, I, I, I know some people seem to think that the weapons in this game are amazing, but I don't really see it myself. Um, they're okay. I think um, they're not up to like Insomniac's Ratchet and Clank series at all, in my opinion. Um, they're they're okay. I think the sound effects massively let them down. And there's so few frames in the animations for them, and there's very little impact in the explosions. And in the weapons in general, there's very, very little impact. Um, but, you know, this was a very um, early, very rushed project, and it does tell. However, one thing that this game did really freaking well is the world building. Uh, and the Chimera, the threat themselves. Um, they are one of the best enemies uh in a fps style game that i didn't really think of you know i mean the covenant were cool um and i i kind of like the locust horde again they were a bit mysterious a bit weird they're kind of similar in a way to the to the chimera but the chimera were really fleshed out and they had detailed biographies and, and, you know, and it was really, really interesting to read all that stuff. This game, when I finished it, this game always left me wanting more. And we did get more. We did. We got uh, three. No, we, we technically, we've got um, two more PlayStation 3 games. We got the PSP game that I haven't played, but I've watched a friend. Let's play it. Uh, Jimmy Fails, and it looked pretty good, you know, considering the limitations of the PSP. And then we had uh, one on the PlayStation Vita, Burning Skies, which got a lot of flack. But I played a little bit of it on my Vita before um, my analog stick went. And yeah, it, it was fine. It was nothing groundbreaking, but to have like a cool first person shooter like that on the Vita, it was really good. It had a lot of problems that early Vita games had, or well, we never really got any late Vita games, did we? Not really. Um, they were all early Vita games. It had the problems with uh, loads of additional buttons all over the touchscreen, and yeah, the Vita was was a unfortunate system. 
it never got the chance it should have had because it was a really good system. And until the Switch, it was actually my favorite handheld of all time. Um, yeah, so this game was fantastic. It it has an interesting vibe to it as well, I found. Um, it feels like a World War II, almost, not Call of Duty, but kind of like a throwback to say a medal of honor and i think one of you guys commented that in the comments it's like a, a a medal of honor kind of shooter but twisted because you have the aliens and it does and that feeling actually sets it aside from a lot of the other generic first person shooters out there um this series definitely was in my opinion done pretty dirty by sony because if you think about all the fantastic ips that sony have and they do they have fantastic ips um, they have some of the best, um, you know, IPs uh, in the business. But they don't have an exclusive first-person shooter, right? Which is kind of a big hole. Uh, they've got, you know, platformers. They've got racing games. They've got third-person action games. They have, well, they've got a few of those. Uh, RPGs. But they don't have a shooter, and I would love to see them bring Resistance back in some way. Because there's so much potential with this franchise. So much potential. I don't know if Insomniac would helm it again. Um, Insomniac have... Uh, there was a quote um, years ago um, saying that the Resistance games are now out of their... Um, uh, out of their hands, they're in the hands of Sony. So Sony could pick another developer. Imagine, right? Because Sony now own Bungie. Imagine if Resistance was picked up and made by Bungie. Oh. Remade. Flesh it out. Keep the wacky weapons. But with that Bungie finesse. Because it was them that put Halo on the map. And I don't like Destiny, okay? I've tried multiple times to get into Destiny. But the game plays and feels incredible. It feels like playing an old Halo game. Um, so to have a developer like that, that's a really nice developer to, for, to have in Sony's pocket, actually. Um, yeah, if they could bring Resistance back, I'd be all over that. I would rather... I don't know if I'd like to see them continue the game or just reboot it. Because I I know how the third game ends. Because I've read it, but I haven't played through it myself. That doesn't leave a lot, from what I can understand, for it to continue. Correct me if I'm wrong. But maybe just reboot it. My worry would be that... If they did um, resurrect an FPS game, they would resurrect Killzone. And Killzone is a... We will do the Killzone games, actually. Because I never played... I did play the first one on the PlayStation 2. And I thought it was absolute tripe. It was garbage. Um, and then I played the second one. And the second one, I kind of enjoyed quite a bit. But it was a very, very generic FPS game. I played the one on the Vita as well, which I actually really enjoyed. Gorilla, I think that one was called. can't remember. Not the Vita, the PSP. I did also play the one on the Vita, which was actually quite good as well. Um, but they, they, the, the Killzone games never really had a hook. There was nothing that made them stand out. They were just very generic games whereas this this has so much more going for it it's got the unique weapons it's got the interesting time setting it has the um really cool enemy the chimera the mysterious enemy this has so much more to it than killzone um but i did put was they did bring out a newest the newest killzone on the playstation 4 which actually bought with my PlayStation 4 when it first came out, and <sighs> yeah, that was not good. That was again very generic. It was pretty, it was beautiful actually, but it was 
a very generic FPS game. There is a very broken man there. <sighs> but I do like the very grim dark nature of this game. Very much. And with the power of like the PlayStation 5 and you know modern day PCs, they could do so much so much with it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically my thoughts on the games. What do you guys think? It'd be very interesting to, to hear what you say. The only problem with Bungie, though, is there is a big uh, problem that they might bring it back as some kind of competitive first-person shooter series, which uh, I'd be out because I don't really do multiplayer, to be honest. I don't mind cooperative. I quite enjoy a, a bit of cooperative here and there, but I don't do um, player versus player stuff. I just It just doesn't interest me. I tried it back on the 360. I tried it back on the Xbox One. Uh, I tried multiple games. I just... It's too repetitive for me. I need a decent story and a decent hook to keep me going. Um, but I think what I'm going to do... I'm, I think I'm just going to jump straight back into Resistance 2 and see how that goes. Because I did play that one. And as I said before, I remember I really, really enjoyed that one. And I do have Resistance 3 on my shelf as well. So maybe after 2, we'll go straight into 3. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Uh, it'll be interesting to think, what, what, what is the general consensus of this game? Because when I look it up, it's very mixed. Uh, a lot of people had a lot of fun with it. Um, it was, it was compared to Halo back in the day. Um, I've done a lot of research on this over the last few weeks. Uh, every game, every first person shooter was compared to Halo. Every first person shooter in that time period. And Sony was scrambling to find their Halo killer, which they never really did. Um, now, one thing that I did hear, uh, one of the reasons why the Resistance franchise didn't carry on, which has literally just come into my mind, apparently it was because it was too similar to The Last of Us. That came out in an interview quite a few years ago, because you play against a viral outbreak your main character is actually um, infected. And they're, they're, I can't remember now that it, it's there if you Google it. But it's a very interesting read. But it also smells of bullshit as well. Because like Resistance and The Last of Us in the same vein. It's a very compelling article to read. But nah, come on, come on. <sighs> Two totally different games. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time.